Welcome to today's episode of Everything You Didn't Learn in Sex Ed. I'm Chloe the Clitoris, and today's episode is about me. This is an exciting day for me, because people don't usually pay attention to me. But first, let's clear something up. One of the reasons the clitoris is so understudied is because women's sexual pleasure isn't taken as seriously as men's sexual pleasure. That being said, not everyone who has a clitoris is a woman, and not every woman has a clitoris. This is because the parts you're born with don't determine your gender, and we'll talk about that in more detail in a later episode. So let's get started. If you've taken sex ed, you're probably familiar with this diagram. We'll learn more about these body parts in a later episode. But do you notice what's missing? That's right, me. The full anatomy of the clitoris was not scientifically discovered until 1998, in part because the clitoris was erased from academic textbooks in 1947. Freud was popular at the time for saying that clitoral stimulation represents immature, undeveloped sexuality. Luckily, we know now that Freud was wrong. A lot of sex ed classes don't discuss the clitoris because it's not a reproductive organ. I actually, I didn't know that a clitoris existed until like probably my sophomore year of high school when I was on Tumblr and I was like, oh, that's a thing. And like women are supposed to experience pleasure too. And I didn't know that. I remember one time in fifth grade, we were, we had to fill out a diagram and it was on there. And so I, being the nerd that I am, went out, went up and asked like, what is the clitoris? We did not talk about this in class. We talked about everything else in the diagram, but we didn't talk about this and they would not tell me. So I went home and I like researched it. But that was, they never actually even said what it did. It was just on the diagram, wow. which I think was a mistake actually, probably because they were like alarmed. So <laughs> not in middle school or high school. No, it, never. Wow. Yeah. No, it took me until like 11th grade of high school before I actually knew that like people with my kind of body could actually experience pleasure during sex. I did not know that that was possible. Like I thought the whole lie back and think of England thing was just how you did it. <laughs> when it is discussed, it's usually presented as a tiny nub of skin, but the clitoris is actually just as long as a penis. It's mostly internal and it's made up of several different parts. First, there's the glands, which is the visible part that a lot of people mistake for the whole clitoris. Then you've got the shaft, and then there are two crura, two corpora cavernosa, and two vestibular bulbs, which are made of erectile tissue and become engorged with blood during sex. During fetal development, the tubercle will either turn into a penis with 4,000 nerve endings or a clitoris with 8,000 nerve endings. This process begins at nine weeks old, but our sexual organs don't actually fit into a binary. We'll talk about intersexuality more in the episode on genital development, but for now you should know that sometimes people are born with a clitoris double its typical size, and sometimes people are born with both a clitoris and external genitalia that is traditionally classified as male anatomy. In most cases, you can find the clitoral glands right here, above the vaginal opening. The distance between the glands and the vaginal opening can affect how much stimulation you receive during vaginal intercourse. The crura and the bulbs surround the vagina, which also helps vaginal intercourse feel good. The clitoris is the only human body part whose only function is sexual pleasure. For a lot of people with clitorises, this means manual and oral stimulation feels better than penetrative stimulation. Because male sexual pleasure is prioritized over female sexual pleasure, a lot of cisgender women feel like there's something wrong with them if they can't orgasm during vaginal intercourse. If no one has told you this before, let me be the first to say it. There is nothing wrong with you. Well, now you know more about the clitoris than you learned in sex ed. For more information, check out HuffPost's The Overdue Undertold Story of the Clitoris. See you next week!